coming to you live from our studios here at MS24. Welcome to MS Breaks. My name is Khabanam Yana. Coming up, Central Bank maintains policy rate at 14.5%. Also coming up, Ghana's total export earnings hits 9.6 billion. That's according to the Bank of Ghana's latest economic and financial data. Also ahead, Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications calls for broader engagement over tax declaration allegations. Now to the first story, Ghana's total earnings from gold, cocoa, and crude oil have declined marginally ending August 2020. Now, according to data released by the Bank of Ghana, it declined from 10.5 billion in August 2019 to 9.6 billion in August 2020. This was contained in September 2020 economic and financial data released by the Bank of Ghana. There's more in the following report. Data earning from gold ending August 2020 stood at $4.3 billion compared to $4.1 billion secured by the country in August 2019. Cocoa at the end of August this year has brought in $1.7 billion compared to $1.5 billion. Crude oil in August 2019 to $1.9 billion in 2020. However, the country's total import bill ending August this year stood at $8.3 billion compared to $9.1 billion in August 2019. Government spent $1.2 billion to finance oil imports in 2020 compared to $1.7 billion in August 2019. This development shows that the country's import bill declined by about $800 million from August last year to August 2020. This means that Ghana's trade balance as at the end of August 2020 stood at $1.3 billion compared to $1.4 billion. Now, let's stay a bit longer with the Bank of Ghana. Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Ghana has maintained the policy rate at 14.5%. Addressing the media, Governor of the Central Bank, Dr. Ernest Addison, stressed that the bank's assessment shows that the economy is bouncing back. And its survey also shows that the pace is similar to the pre-pandemic period. Now, the decision to keep the rate unchanged is expected to allow businesses access cheaper credit in order to stimulate economic activities after the massive hit caused by the virus. With the easing of the COVID-related food price pressures and continued stability in the exchange rate, a gradual and steady return of inflation to target is anticipated over the horizon. Underlying inflation and inflation expectations are uh, easing. The latest staff forecast shows a somewhat improved outlook compared to the last MPC. And in the absence of unanticipated shocks, inflation should return to the medium term target by the second quarter of 2021. In sum, the drivers of economic growth are returning to normal with prospects for a good recovery. Monetary and fiscal policies have been supportive, providing the necessary underpinnings for the economy to withstand the negative outward shock arising from the pandemic. However, this has come at the cost of moving away from the consolidation path and could pose a risk to long-term macroeconomic stability if decisive measures are not taken to define a feasible fiscal adjustment to stabilize debt. Under the circumstances, the committee's view is that the risks to the immediate outlook for inflation and growth are broadly balanced and decided to keep the policy. Now, away from that, Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications, Ken Ashibia, has rejected claims that telecom companies in Ghana under declared taxes after the Minister of Communication, Aslo Usu, made that claim in Parliament. According to Ken Ashibia, telecom companies in Ghana have an exemplary record of tax compliance. He therefore urged the government to engage their members and all other stakeholders on serious reputational issues before conclusions are drawn and also circulated within the public. Pretty sure that once we sit with uh, you know, uh, the tax man, we should be able to explain all of this. But we are not, we want to restate that, that we have not under declared any taxes. We've not engaged in any criminality. We are, we are still awaiting for that report to come. And the interesting thing when the minister spoke is that he spoke of estimated and potential. So, you know, you know you'd think that if you are going to, uh, you know, talk about under declaration, at least it should be exact. So we just pray that some of these things, instead of they being put into the media, at least we could have those engagements 
before you know it comes in because at the end of the day you want to attract investments also into your country either locally or internally and you know these things also do not really send the right well that's it for today's edition of ms breaks my name is kwabna amir keep watching mx24